doll. Here's how to display animated GIFs on an OLED or TFT display. It's GIF, not GIF, you stupid dumbass. In this tutorial, I'm using an ESP32, but it should work with any other microcontroller that uses SPI and has sufficient memory to hold the image's data. Oh, and you won't need an SD card. The image data is held entirely in the device's flash memory. So in the Arduino IDE, the first thing we need to do is to install the library. So go to Tools, Manage Libraries, and then search for Animated GIF. And the one we want is Animated GIF by Larry Bank. So if it's not installed, then install it. So this library also has a GitHub repository. I've linked to it in the description below. It's really useful to download it because it's got some examples which we can use for our code. So to download the examples, go to Code and then Download Zip. So once you've unzipped it, you'll see there's a large number of different examples here. The one I recommend using is TFT underscore ESPI underscore memory. So we'll use this one. This is the one that I've used as a template for the example you see in this video. So this example uses a TFT ESPI library, and this one's generally quite easy to use with the OLED or TFT displays. So the first thing to do is to make sure you have this library installed. You probably already got it if you've been playing around with displays. So it's the one by Bodma. This is very widely used. So if you're using a regular ESP32, then this is the pin diagram you'll need to connect up the screen to the ESP32. Check my channel because I do have a number of other videos that go into this in more depth. So if you're quite experienced at using the Arduino IDE, then you should be able to get this example working quite easily. I'll have a quick walkthrough of the code and point out the really important bits. So this is my own sketch. I've basically made a new sketch and copied and pasted all the really important bits from the example. So there's a number of header files we require at the top. So this is the spi.h, tft, espi.h. These are the display libraries. Next we include the animated GIF library. So we include the header file and then we make an instance of a GIF. The next thing you want to do is to include the image data. More on that later. So these are the standard pins for the SPI protocol if you're using an ESP32. I've included some color definitions here as well. So the display is instantiated here. So there are two ways of accessing memory. One is to use DMA, direct memory access, and the other one is normal speed. So you can play around with this if you want. So in this setup routine, we initialize the TFT screen. So depending on what you want to display, you might want to fill the screen with a color first. So I've used black here. This initializes the animated GIF library. I'm not too sure what this is. I think this is the file format. If you're displaying a GIF and it looks a bit corrupted, then you might need to change this setting. But all the animated GIFs that I've used have just needed this format. By the way, you can rotate the screen, so you might find this useful. Obviously, I've got a square one, but it depends which TFT or OLED display you're using. So the frames of the GIF are displayed in the loop itself, so it just loops around displaying a different frame every loop. So that's the actual code itself. How do we get the images into the sketch? So first of all, you obviously need some animated GIFs to use. You can find them in the Google image search. If you click on the tools menu here, then you can change this and just search for GIFs. It's a good idea to click on it or you can drag it into a browser window and it should animate. So just check that you actually have got an animated GIF. It's also worth checking the file size. I wouldn't use anything bigger than one megabyte. I would highly recommend you resize your image to fit the screen or the part of the screen that you want to display it on. So I've linked to a couple of these online applications that will resize your animated GIF for you. The first one is easygif.com. This one is best just for very simple files. It doesn't really have many features, so you basically just browse to your file and click upload, and then you put in the dimensions that you want it resized to. So I use this one for Remu and it works really well. The second one is redketchup.io. This one is really good. It's uh, really fast and I recommend this if you're doing much larger files. 
So the good thing about this is that you can resize it so that you can crop the image if you want and only make a GIF from a small part of an image. So you can change the aspect ratio here. So if you've got a square screen like I have, then you can just use this. And this is really nice. So this is where to start the image and the dimensions are here. So you just click on download once you've done everything. So this one is really sophisticated and really worth a look. So once you have your GIF, you need to convert it to C format. So I highly recommend this image to C utility. I've linked to it in the description below. Again, as with the other archive, you need to go to code and then download zip. Incidentally, this works on both a PC and a Mac. So there is a graphical user interface for it, if you click on this one. However, I couldn't get this one to work. Instead, what I recommend doing on Windows is to type CMD and open a command prompt. So you need then to CD to the directory you've installed this utility in. So make sure that the directory is the right directory. Then you can just type this command. So it's image to C and then 64. So it's word wrapped a bit. Let's see if we can move it along. And then it's dot slash and then the name of the GIF. So which one am I doing? Uh, Chica Dance. So I'm doing this one. So put this file name in. Then a greater than sign and then the output file. And we want a dot H file. So call it the same and it will call it this one. So once you've got this file, you need to copy and paste it into the Arduino sketch folder. So as you see, this is my sketch folder and I have three images here. So back in the Arduino IDE, you should find that once you add the images, they appear here. So Chica Dance is here. And this is the image data. As you can see, there's quite a lot of it. So this is the image data, the animated GIF in the format that we can use in the Arduino IDE. I forgot to mention earlier that you must also have this GIF draw.ino sketch in the same folder. So back in our main sketch to use the image data, all we have to do here is define the GIF underscore image and then put the variable name in from the header file. So Chica Dance was this variable name. So if you want to use Homer, then we'll just put Homer in. So we can uncomment this one and comment this one out again. So that's all you have to do to change the images. I should also mention that in the libraries download folder, there is a folder full of test images. So this is the Homer Simpson file that I've been using in this video. I should also mention that if you want to display moving images on the screen, then you don't have to use animated GIFs. You might want to take a look at this video that I made. It's a little old now, but it shows you how to make moving sprites on a TFT or OLED display. The good thing about this technique is it takes up very, very little in memory. In fact, that was done on an Arduino Uno. So that's how to display animated GIFs on a TFT or OLED display. I'll just mention that they look much better in real life. There's hardly any flickering at all and the animation is really smooth. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.